Hey, Steve Basic Architect from the Riverside Project. Isn't that a beautiful view? We wouldn't want this view out of their basement, huh? All right, but before we can talk about the view, we got to talk about how we're putting this basement together. So in one of the previous videos, you heard me talk about the gravel, right? So the gravel is basically foam glass gravel, and we put that down. It provides the subslab drainage, but it also has an R factor of 1.7 per inch. Now, as you can see, the gravel's in. We had a, a little rainstorm last night, so in New England fall, when you get a little rain, it strips a bunch of the leaves off. But we have our gravel bed in here. The gravel bed has been compacted um, per the recommendations of the, the company or the manufacturer of the gravel. So around the perimeter, we have our perimeter drain in to capture any water and we'll take that water over to the sump pump and then we'll eject it to a French drain and it'll perk into the ground a ways away from the house. But let's take a walk over here and uh, we could just take a peek at the uh, sump pump we got going in. The sump pump here, it actually has a rubber gasket attached to it. And so that when it goes down, it basically gets sealed. So this is an airtight sump pump lid it has the holes here for the pipes that will eject out and we also you know you can cap those off but these also will have some gaskets on it to make it airtight now why would you want a sump pump airtight well we have a perforated pipe that traces around the foundation system to get the water in there and if that means the water can get in there then any radon or soil gas that we have exposed to that pipe can also make its way into there and we don't want that coming into the basement. So we have an airtight sump pump and then we'll eject the uh, water from there. And you can see over there, we have a little pipe stuffed up. That's actually an independent radon system from the perimeter drain system. So it's somewhat located in the centroid of the, of the basement here so that it can capture any soil gas underneath our Stego um, vapor retarder that we'll be placing in before we put the concrete down. So anyways, you can see the sump pump here. If you make your way over here and um, down in there, you can see basically it's nothing more than just a big bucket and the pipes run in. We'll have our sump pump in there that has a float on it. So as the water level rises before it gets anywhere near challenging the level of the sub slab, that sump pump will kick on and eject the water out of the system. So anyways, let's go back to the studio. We'll break out the drawing. And I'll show you uh, as an architect how we illustrate and get all these pieces and components into the set of drawings. So I'll see you back at the studio. All right, we're back in the studio. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, little trek out there. We uh, got to see that gravel um, all in. It's compacted and ready to go. We have the sump pump there and uh, the sump pump is uh, airtightly sealed. And uh, yeah, a lot of good things happening out there. We got big red in hand, got details on the desk here. So uh, let's get into them. All right, so here we have our beautiful slab detail down at the foundation. So you can see this is the interior face of that ICF. And there is the extent of those EPS panels. So series of EPS in there. And EPS, if you're wondering, that's expanded polystyrene. Basically, the little bead insulation, things, thing, coffee cups and stuff are made out of, right? So it carries usually probably around a 3.8 to 4.0 R value. But the cool thing about having ICFs there is a lot of times we have subslab insulation, you have to turn it up and such. But here, basically, by virtue of using the ICF that has that EPS 
form on both sides and then the concrete in the middle, you basically get that thermal break here. So we're just pour the slab literally up against it. And then that allows your slab to be pretty much anywhere. It's not, it can be down, you know, down sitting on just above the footing. If we were going to put it down there, we'd put insulation under there. But we knew we were going to be up about 16 inches here. And the reason for the 16 inches is gravel. So you have 16 inches of gravel. As you can see, it's 1.7 per inch. So that's roughly our 27 that we get under there. And remember, the gravel is that uh, foam glass. And it's like gravel. It's a little larger than the three-quarter inch stone, probably on the order of, you know, two inches square, inch and a half um, cubed, two inches cubed. Um, so you get a little larger chunks, but this stuff actually got compacted in a number of lifts. So they, uh, and, and a lift is nothing more than, you know, you put in about 10 inches of it and then you compact it to, you know, six inches or eight inches, put in another six inches or so, compact that down to about five or whatever, and then put another six inches in, compact that down to, you know, five. And then you end up with our... 16 inches there and the concrete is fluid so this is you know I show it as a nice straight line because I can um, via the CAD program but the reality is is you know this might be a little you know something like that um, and then we lay I'm going to lay a vapor retarder over the top of that and you have 10 mil there you're probably going to up that and it'll be a 15 to 20 mil. We're going to use a company called Stego Wrap. And uh, basically, what you're trying to do is any migration of moisture up here, you want to stop and not allow it to make its way into the slab and eventually into the room above in the basement. So, anything that's in the ground, we want it to stay in the ground. So, that's kind of our. Alamo, I like to use that word a lot, um, for any type of moisture migration. Now, the beauty of using a product like Glavel, especially 16 inches of it, is you get somewhat of a capillary break by virtue of having 16 inches of this compacted um, stone-like bed. So water can't really migrate up it and get soaked up on it because it has all these voids so the water is actually going to want to fall down. And you notice we have our perimeter pipe. Notice it's down in the low spot of the uh, sub slab gravel pad. And that will then go to a French drain where it'll perk into the ground there. And then we'll have an overflow that'll take it out to daylight. So we're basically taking all of the any and all of the moisture and or water that is sub slab, putting in the pipe, transferring it to another location to perk into the ground naturally. And or if it can't perk into the ground because it's fully charged, it'll get dumped via an overflow out to daylight. So anyways, there's our concrete slab. For the most part, the slab is going to be the finish in the basement here. Um, we'll have some areas where We'll finish this off with a wall, some areas where we'll have the uh, ICF exposed. But uh, yeah, that's our water management system. It's actually pretty simple. And if you saw last week, we talked about the exterior water management system out here. So we're basically a one, two punch to uh, water management below grade. So really trying to take that and get rid of it. Remember, famous last words, down and out, All right? Get rid of the water as fast as you can. So anyways, that's water management, sub slab. All right, so that's that. That's everything we need to know about how to manage water, sub slab. So, if you're looking for more Build Show Network, we have a ton of videos on there. 
And it's all current stuff, stuff we're all doing every day. We're adding contributors, we're adding videos, all kinds of great stuff out there. Go check it out. If you're looking for more from me, I'm posting regularly on Instagram, Steve Basic Architect. Go check it out, follow along, join in the conversations, ask your questions, all that good stuff. And if you still want more, Unbuild It Podcast. I join my good friends, Jake Bruton and Peter Yost, and uh, we talk up residential construction. So look forward to uh, our paths crossing someday. But until then, long live our buildings.